My husband went back to school, now I feel like our family is no longer his priority. I love my husband, we've been married for five years and have three kids. He's always been a great dad and husband. However the last couple years since our youngest was born we literally do nothing at night but Netflix and chill. The says is boring. We both work with people FT so it's exhausting at the end of the day for both of us. I get it. But now he's going back to school, while working full time, taking a full load. Financially I'm fine with it. However it's really taking a toll on our relationship. I'm trying to be okay with it, supportive, and loving. But this degree doesn't help much in the field of work. You can teach at a university level, but since it's not a PhD a lot of universities will overlook you and hire the PhD candidate. Anyways he's always talking about class, his professors, getting his school work done. And I'm over it. We both went through seven years of school to get where we are now. I'm all for continuing ed, certifications, etc. But this is ridiculous because he is taking a full class load just to essentially do it. We have toddlers and school age kids, now finally back but no after care, at home and since the pandemic I've cut my hours and am working down to about 25 to 35 hours a week. I get the kids fed, bathed, ready for bed and my husband is coming home working on papers, studying, and on his phone slash laptop either doing school or looking at sports. I feel so disconnected from him and like our family is taking the back burner. I've expressed this to him several times that when he comes home, he needs to see the kids. They have waited all day to see him and want his attention. He literally turns on the TV for them and puts in his headphones while I run the older ones to sports. It's so frustrating and I don't know if I should be feeling this way. He's doubling his course load next semester and I feel like family isn't a priority. It's just class. I'm venting. I love him and I used to love our marriage. But I feel like he's always reaching for the next thing rather than being content with the life we have. We have pretty damn good jobs at a world-renowned hospital, damn good hours, benefits, commute. Like we couldn't ask for a better scenario. And this damn degree does not need to be done now. In my eyes it can wait a few years until our toddlers are older. I just hate how he's always glued to a device, everything falls on me, and then there is zero energy left for our marriage. When I bring this up, it's always my fault. Any advice on how to cope with this would be much appreciated because I'm about ready to lose it and that's not fair to him. Even though I've told him how I feel since about January about all this. Hey, when he discussed wanting to go back to school, how did he respond when you raised these concerns? When you talk to him now about the lack of quality time he has with you and the kids, what does he say? Why does he want to double his course load when you're having all these issues with his existing course load? It usually comes down to an I can do it all attitude which he does get up at 3 a.m. and do 4 hours of course work every day before work. But on those days he's so understandably exhausted he falls asleep and we literally have zero says life and zero togetherness anymore because he's so tired. It's just frustrating that I feel like he cannot be content with where we are in life and enjoy the present. Even days when we drive the hour to the beach, he's writing a paper or watching a lecture with headphones each way. But when I mention that I'd enjoy the togetherness of the drive it comes down to I need to get this done for school, I think you need to be clear that what's happening right now is not him doing it all, and that this is seriously detrimental to your family and relationship. Have you thought about talking to a couple's counselor? I am actually seeing one next week on my own which I think will help, smiley face, nothing to contribute except that it is really awesome and brave of you to go see a therapist. It's terrible sometimes to just be crying for a whole session, but you really will make progress on yourself. I am so sorry he sees nothing wrong with the arrangement wherein you do everything to keep three small humans alive and your house from falling to crap and everyone fed and, he just stares at a screen. He may not consciously realize it, but I suspect he knows on some level that he's outrunning his supply lines. More to the point, it's not equitable personal development, it's his personal development at the expense of yours, so at a minimum, there needs to be a non-specific slash generalized conversation around this concept. Introducing Newscaster Vocalizer, is a new first of its kind, groundbreaking app, which allows you to generate full featured voiceovers from any text using direct access to Amazon-powered Newscaster Vocalizer without spending thousands of dollars, just select a language and voice, paste your text, click a button, and it's done. Get him to rank his priorities, school, work, family, friends, fitness, hobbies etc. Assign each one a color. 
Get him to shade in a blank 24-7 schedule of the time he's spending on each priority. Maybe if he can see that if he ranked family as a high priority and there's only two hours with that color, something's wrong. Ah, that's a really good idea. I feel like my just telling him he needs to spend more time with kids slash me is nagging but I like this objective way to do it. Thank you, smiley face. It's actually completely fair for you to lose it. You're holding all the family responsibilities. Why is he doubling his coursework when he knows you're struggling? He's very much an I can do it all personality. I think he wants to prove it to himself that he can. His entire family are incredibly specialized physicians. Scientists. PhDs. Very academically driven at prestigious universities but none of them have families or anything outside of their careers. Which is great that they work so hard and have achieved so much. But this is not working for our family but he's not doing it all. He's doing him and leaving you to do everything else. It's fine to be mad at him at about it and to let him know that doubling his coursework will be even more detrimental to your marriage and family life. If he really wants to do it he has to find a way to help take the load off you. Can he arrange childcare, not great time to find any? Can he arrange a cleaning service if possible given restrictions where you are? Can he block out one night a week to not do school work? Yeah these are good points. I really don't mind the housework. I usually let it go to hell then spend 20 minutes getting it together at night, and I enjoy afternoons with this kids. I just really want our marriage back. But that's a good idea to block out one night a week where we are totally in it. I don't need every night but one to two nights to switch things up and not worry about school would be amazing. Okay so let him do it all. Sit down with him with a list of all the house chores, and estimates of time to complete, plus family times. And divvy them equally. Then he has to manage to stay up to spend time with family and his homework. I'm really mad at your husband for you and to be honest I feel you're not mad enough. You're not his maid, his nanny and cook. He's not doing it all, he's not doing anything at home. He's not your child that you're supposed to take care of. He's a grown up, a father. He doesn't contribute to your marriage or your family. He's a leech. Yes, I know he contribute financially but so do you and taking up your time and energy makes him a leech. I know you love him, but at this point I would give an ultimatum, either he starts hearing you and make concrete plans to change for the better, or it's over. At the very least, I would stop caring about him at all. Let him handle his cooking, his own grocery shopping, clean his laundry, etc. If he wants something, he does it himself. You're already generous because you're taking his half of caring for the kids but that's not like you could stop doing that. Echoing this sentiment, you have already proven that you can do it all. On your own and essentially with a fourth child, your husband. I don't blame you for trying to make it work or couples therapy but there are a ton of red flags here and I would ready myself to walk away from something this detrimental and someone who is actively choosing to be this negligent of your mental and emotional health. All of this. Like seriously OP you are being taken for granted, so much. I'd be livid and calling a divorce lawyer in your situation. Marshall Counseling ASAP there is a lot going on here, and you guys need outside help to navigate it. I brought this up and he said there was nothing wrong with our marriage, and we are perfect. But I do have an appointment to see an individual counselor next week because some days I love him more than anything in the world, other days I'm ready to walk out. And I'm really starting to think he may have some sort of depression or something he isn't dealing with by always wanting the next best thing and the counselor can help approach this in a way that isn't harmful I brought this up and he said there was nothing wrong with our marriage, and we are perfect. So now you tell him that he might think nothing's wrong, but you do, that you're telling him that you're very unhappy with how things are currently, with all the family responsibilities being on you, and with feeling so disconnected from him, and is he really saying that you feeling that way nothing to him? Ask is that his idea of perfect, does he really not care that you feel this way, that he's not willing to put in one hour a week? or whatever, with a marriage counselor to help you both feel happy in the marriage? Because if his idea of a perfect marriage is him getting to do what he wants while not caring how you feel, you'll have to consider staying with someone whose perfect idea of marriage is not caring how their partner feels. That's not a threat, an ultimatum, or manipulation. It's you seeking clarification of his stance that you don't need marriage counseling because he's happy and you're not, and you've tried talking with him about it and nothing changes, so a marriage counselor was your last best idea to give your marriage a chance to survive. Does he want it or not? Tell him all of that. Oh why you are good. I really appreciate this, 
this is a great way to put everything I've wanted to say but in a much better way than I would say it. Thank you, two hearts. Worldwide comments of the day, dude, this is gonna sound really harsh but OP really needs to get over the X and move on. What he is doing, is not healthy and he coming off as a potential stalker. There is no debate no compromise. Moving on is the only option. He needs to move on to someone who he actually can get to know in person and then decide if he wants to be with them. This dude is a backup plan and he needs to cut contact as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.